first like three seconds I fell in love with this space. The pieces are interactive, they're immersive. You get to play with everything. Be prepared to just think out of the box and just discover something new. It's undescribable. They engage with you either in a physical way or with your imagination. It's not just art that you look at, you're really experiencing it. Hands on and like be basically a part of the art. Common thread between all these works. You can't really explain what you're seeing. It's different than your classic museum. You want to turn to your friend or family, the person that you're there with, and get that, are you seeing what I'm seeing moment. I felt like it was something different than anything else that I've seen around. Super, super trendy. From virtual reality to more hands-on things. At least some of our work is really visually stunning and really invites those Instagrammable moments. You can take some cute pictures. Just a lot of personal expression and a lot of things that are very visually interesting. Wonder Spaces is a 24,000 square foot arts venue where we showcase 14 installations from around the world. Cool, very unique experience. I haven't seen something like this. They are experiencing world-class artwork. Art sometimes is a little standoffish and when you can interact with it, a little more intriguing. A lot of the pieces are participatory. Some pieces are meant to be more visual and engage more with your imagination. Black balloons explore concepts of contrast. Balloons being this light feeling thing at the same time, there's this weight to the structure. I just think you can connect. A submergence, there are over 8,000 LED lights. I thought it was incredible. You can touch the strings with waves of color washing around you. Sweet spot, you're looking at seven miles of string. Like a blast of happiness. They've very meticulously planned out these combinations of colors and the result is this rippling, shimmering effect. Each room is so different that it makes it like a full experience. Yeah. Dinner Party is a virtual reality short film. This is something I've never done before. It tells the story of Betty and Barney Hill, who in 1961 reported an alien abduction. It's set in a dinner party. It feels like you're, in, you're there. Body paint is a prompt to play. This seems very modern in the fact that you can actually interact and touch it. Your movements are translated into splashes of color. The last word, the prompt is, what is the message that you held back on? It's a nice way for people to connect, even though we don't necessarily know who you're connecting with. Oh, you can read everyone else's and they can read yours. And it was so beautiful, like I couldn't even describe it. Sun, but you walk into it and as you pick up this ball, you recognize that you're controlling the movement of the, the sunrise and the sunset, flipping of the dynamic of control. Blooms when a strobe light hits the sculpture as it rotates a precise number of degrees, our eyes see that as a movement that isn't real. It's a pretty cool idea. Come together. You think you're looking at this cloud of little wooden dowels that are wrapped in vinyl. But when you take a footstep in the footstep area, you'll see a whole different outlook. All of these little dowels line up to form pixels of a fist. This artwork can play a larger role in, in more people's lives and everybody's lives.